All right, we are live once again. Well, this is turning into the dog running knife show, I guess. <clears throat> well, today we're going to be looking at some fixed blades, and I'm trying out a different time of day. It is Friday. It's 5.30. I'm going to be heading out here pretty soon, so I'm going to see if... Uh, uh, if I can do this at a different time, I'm going to experiment with some different times, see if I can get some more views. So what do we have today? We have a ton of fixed blades. And I'm going to show you the progression of my uh, collection. And I'll show you some of, the, some of the knives I got when I was first starting out and uh, some of the knives that I kind of um, came into. All right, so we'll just start off with, uh, <clears throat> now everybody knows I'm a really big fan of Lawn Humphrey knives. Lawn Humphrey makes, in my opinion, some of the most wonderful custom knives on the market right now, and there's a lot of them out there, and people still want them, and they're still grabbing them, and they're still selling for extremely premium prices, and for good reason. Very easy to resharpen, just a great user of a knife. And I was very fortunate to meet this gentleman. I think it was his first, I'm imagining his first blade show. And uh, he had a few knives laid out. And I'll, I'll show you what I picked up from him. And it's a lot different from his current work. <clears throat> so, and a lot of his stuff was made from spring steel, um, stuff like that. His current stuff's like... Uh, fancier carbon steels stuff like that so it's a lot better now obviously but uh it's kind of fun to look at his work and this was some time ago and uh now i did change the blade angle a little bit but you kind of can get the idea um this is one of his first bushcraft knives or type knives and the lighting here i'm really gonna have to work on this i'm gonna have to buy some lights and he still had that choil there and, and the really interesting way of <clears throat> uh, making a finger groove. Really nice and thick. Had some really good heft to it. Very well balanced knife. And um, it was a standard grind, uh, just like his other knives, his typical knives. But I wanted to uh, throw a, a high polish on this. And uh, it took it really nice. I did that, I think, on a Japanese whetstone. And as you can see, it's extremely shiny and nice and keeps an incredible nice edge. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And that's one of his first works. You can see how he tapered. Tapered that tang down. I really apologize. This camera, you know, I, I love the microphone. I love sounding good. And that's the most important thing in all honesty, because when I'm watching videos for me, I really like listening to people in the background, almost like a podcast. And because I can only watch a person so much. And if there's something that I, that he wants to show, um, you know, I listen to Joe Rogan a lot, and he does that. And if there's something interesting, they'll pop it up on the screen. Um, but I might upgrade my camera or something, or my lighting. I think my lighting would be a lot better. Let me see. And they will not let you test this whole live thing. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better. I'm in the dark, but hey, the knives are the prime... Thing we're talking about here really nice really nice so do i have any knives for sale lawn humphrey knives i sure do i have some muleys brand new muleys in the boxes and a muley is a small knife made from i'll give you the specifications here it's 52 100 steel so it's a high carbon steel these knives have been locked away nice and safe for the last two years Okay, there's no patina or corrosion on them, and they're absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm pushing for my subscribers $150. Hey, how's it going? So shoot me an email if you're interested in these. I have about six of them, and the knife comes in a 
Lawn Humphrey box, such as these. And these have all been uh, made by Lawn Humphrey. So what's up? Hey, how's it going? I love when people say hi. Please utilize the chat. <clears throat> Please participate. Um, I have tons of knives to uh, to sell. And if you happen to purchase one from me, you always know that I like to box things and cigar boxes and throw some extras in there. And I like to encourage people to maybe do videos on that. Um, so when you do purchase from me, expect some extra stuff. Absolutely. Because uh, I've always liked that. You know, I, I had one of these subscriptions to this, like, it was like a, like a man box or something. Someone gave it to me for like a year. And even though it wasn't that great of stuff, it was kind of neat to get some odds and ends that you'd never really buy for yourself, but Hey, they're, they're totally usable. Um, and, or there's something you actually really, really like. So I like to do that. I'd like to make people happy. So it come in a box such as this. The knife is wrapped in plastic and all that. And then in Lon Humphrey's brown paper, each knife's a little bit different. Okay. I could send you a picture of one. You give me a description of what you like. These are the curly maple handles. All right. <clears throat> and then he also, I also have some walnut. But the curly maple is something that it's pretty hard to get nowadays. And uh, yeah, these are just beautiful. Just a really neat knife. Retail, it, I think retail is about 185 on these. I like I said, I'm going for 150 free shipping for my subscribers. That includes insurance and all that good stuff. Get to your house nice and safe. Got six of these, and then it's got his look at that got the little thing for your thumb right there. Oh, it's so nice. It feels so good. So nice and slippery in your hand. You see how he's got the... Boy, these things are beautiful. And it comes with a beautiful handmade sheath. Finished very nicely. Look at the edging there. I wanted to show that off. Really nice fitting sheath. Just like so. Now, I haven't been storing it in the sheath, so remember, sheaths take on their own shape as you use them, but that's the general idea. Um, like I said, you could push it in there farther or, and eventually it'd mold to it, whatever. If you wore this on your belt, you know, your belt, it'd become part of your leg, um, and you'd always have just a really nice, you know, way to grab it, and it's just a really great utility knife, really nice and thick yet functional razor razor sharp what's up i think you have to put a shade up for the windows when you do vids yes and i don't have um shades yet <laughs> and i don't want to go this way because this way we have boxes so i figure you know hey you guys don't need to see me let's look at the knives right so you can see my hand right so the knives and then you got this view a little bit distracting but that's my neighbors i guess they're uh playing outside it's a really nice setting you know it's a little bit different but yeah my optimum setting i'm doing a studio out back um, i'm actually building this home myself i'm doing everything myself so it takes quite a while um and that's going to be i have some interesting videos on that that i'll probably be producing showing me uh tearing the house down, rebuilding it, doing everything from level five drywall to replacing these windows. These are mill guard windows. Um, I could scream at the top of my lungs. My neighbors wouldn't hear me. Nothing. Um, it's fantastic. It's uh, fun. I'm still running around with my 70s colonial stockman I bought some years ago from you. Very satisfied. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, colonial is incredible. Uh, they make some great knives. And, and again, you don't have to spend a fortune on a knife. Now, these Lawn Humphrey knives, I have quite a few. They're $150 a piece. It's a custom knife, hand forged, got a taper tang. You know, it's, you know, it's exotic wood, leather sheath. Yeah, you're going to be paying for that, obviously. Um, and these are somewhat collectible because, yeah, uh, Lawn Humphrey's uh, 
he's the man. I mean, he's he makes incredible knives. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in those, shoot me an email. Like I said, I got a whole box of them. You know, if you tell me to pick the best out of the bunch, uh, I guess I could. I, I could. I've looked at all of them, and I I picked this one as my demo. So I guess this is a good example of, you know, it's not the it's not the best one out of the bunch. It was like right in the middle. Um, so one that I could use, you know, um, but it's what I liked. Uh, some folks like the walnut handles better. Uh, they're more striped and lighter. So it's all it's all up to you all. I mean, it's a it's a custom knife. They're 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 incredible, and uh, yeah, yeah. And, well balanced, even as small as they are. Tapers that tang down. Just does a great job. All right, let's get a little bit interesting here. I've got another. Oh, I got another five minutes here. We're gonna get this thing on here. So those were Lawn Humphrey knives. Now I'm gonna show these. This is a Bark River knife. This is one of my first knives that I purchased at a blade show somewhere in I think Pennsylvania. And this is a neat one. And that's from, I believe, Elk Shed. And it's made from, I think, Railroad Spikes. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. This knife with the sheath, I think when I bought it a couple years ago when the company was first coming out, was about $40. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now their knives are quite a lot more expensive than that, but they were trying to get their name out there and they sure did. Um, they made some incredible stuff. Hey, what do we got there? Here's an interesting one. This is a, a queen knife. A little queen fillet knife. And it's a little unusual knife. But, oh, my goodness. I need to go. Um, I absolutely do need to go. I need to head out. We are going to a church function. So you guys take care. I'm sorry to cut it, <laughs> cut it so early. We did have some good participation. We'll see how many views we get. And I will be coming on. I will try to come on every day, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of schedule I can do and if I can get some better lighting and all kinds of good stuff. Got to go. All right. Bye. Do 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 do.